When the doctor called me, he said, this is a degenerative disease. He's not going to get better. He's not going to get stronger. He's only gonna get weaker from this point forward. Damien is going to die and he's going to die soon. You need to take him home and, and just make as many good memories with him as you can. Good job. Damien has a wave that he'll do. It's how he makes friends. It's how he checks to see if somebody's friendly. It's how he checks to see if somebody's okay. It's how he communicates. He's melted a lot of hearts with that wave. Neiman Pick is a lysosomal storage disorder. Essentially, your body, instead of recycling the food and nutrients, will hang on to things. And that's what's responsible for Damien's liver enlarging and his spleen enlarging because it's hanging on to things that it's supposed to be breaking down. In type A, your brain is also effective, so it's a neurodegenerative disease. Oh, wow. Good work, bud. Good work. <laughs> There is treatment and development. In fact, there's two different treatments that are looking promising. One being this small molecule that will stop the neurodegeneration, whether long-term or short-term, we're not sure. And then there's gene therapy, which would replace the malfunctioning gene with a working one and stop the neurodegeneration. Wild Donation Foundation is the only organization that is laser focused on getting treatment for Neiman Pick disease type A patients. If we can fund the small molecule treatment, it'll buy us time while the gene therapy is developed for potentially a more permanent treatment. Potential cure won't just help him. It will help the other children in the US around the world who wouldn't get a chance at a full life. I am watching Damien get more distant mentally every week. He's at such a crucial point. He's either gonna just make it or he's gonna just miss it. We, uh, we are so close to give him that opportunity for life.